Motel Hell. No one will be admitted after the guests check in. Hello everyone and welcome to Niall Fortner's Boogie Buddha Presents Retro Reviews number one. My name is Niall Fortner and for the first time on this channel I'm going to do a retro review. Now usually this channel focuses on movie reviews, album reviews, uh, everything in the world of wrestling and more, entertainment, pop culture, comic book reviews, and movie news. But today I'm going to take us back to the old school. I'm going to take us back to the 1980s. I'm going to take us back to the movie Motel Hell. We are going to review the movie Mo Motel Hell together. But before that, let me take a sip of some Goonies smoothie. Goonie smoothie. Yeah. So the first thing I want to get off my chest is I'm someone who has always loved the low budget grindhouse and you know horror sleeves and horror cinema from the 1980s and I feel like they're always willing to take a risk. I had the opportunity to see the you know a lot of 80s horror movies and a lot of 80s sleeves. But on the other hand, I have never viewed the cult classic Motel Hell and just, you know, what, last night or so? The story is very interesting. The story follows a family that sells jerky and sausages to travelers that come, you know, through their small town. What those travelers do not realize is that, you know, those yummy treats that are, that they're eating contain actual human flesh. The way, you know, they harvest uh, their meat is honestly very cool. Uh, they cause motorists to have accidents on the road and they capture their prey and bury them in their garden with only their heads sticking out of the ground. This is why I don't eat sausages and jerky, honestly. But the successful horror comedy is a rare and honestly a very rare and interesting thing to do and find. Not only does it need to be, you know, both scary and funny, but it has to have those elements and blend everything together in a well-mannered way. But um, it has to have that perfect symmetry almost. Movies like Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, Evil Dead 2, An American Werewolf in London, The Return of the Living Dead, Reanimator, The Cabin in the Woods, and Fright Night are some good examples. Now that I have seen Motel Hell, I can say this movie is now included on that list. For me, this film's plot is just enough to grab my attention. The plot seems strange and really bizarre and out of this world. At times, the film is scary. At times, it's really cheesy. At other times, it's really funny and comes off like a parody of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Psycho. Now, this is by no means a perfect movie. For one thing, the setup is really slow. Also, the acting is pretty damn bad. It's very low budget and it takes a while for some things to get going. This movie is, you know, certainly a movie most horror fans have heard of. If you are a serious horror head or 80s film fan, or you like cheesy low budget grindhouse like movies, this movie should be somewhere on your radar. Other people, I'm not sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm kind of stuck on what I think. I think horror fans will really get a kick out of it, but if you're just an everyday person, who wants to see a movie and you're just wanting to see how can I put this an everyday movie that you just can sit back and relax and not have to think too much I think this movie may not be for you if you're just someone who wants to see everyday movies this film is also very colorful it's a beautiful looking movie to look at you know the colors are very vibrant the way it uses red and blue is really nice and I also like the neon atmosphere the film created as well so overall, it's a very colorful looking movie. But at times when you're looking at it, it's very grainy. I understand it's an 80s movie, so it's gonna have that. But it just looks a little grainy at some parts and it was hard to focus on, at least for me. And this movie clearly inspired you know, future films to come, uh, such as the comedy horror movies I mentioned earlier, like Tucker and Dale vs. Evil and movies like that. And it kind of set the bar, I think, for horror and comedy. Also, I have to talk about, you know, the pig with the chainsaw. That's what most people remember out of this movie. Uh, he was a, a cool character. 
but I think his look was the best thing about him. And I feel like that was the, you know, inspiration for American Horror Story when they did Piggy Man in uh, season one and Roanoke recently. So I feel like this uh, movie inspired a lot of others and other filmmakers and television shows and it went the whole nine yards when it came to inspiring other individuals. Amazing. The plot alone already had me invested as I said earlier. Who wouldn't be invested in a plot like this? But um, there are just some parts I really couldn't get into. Like I mentioned the movie is very slow and there are things that I like and there are things that I don't like but I'm honestly very confused and stuck on what rating to give this. If you're somebody who wants to see really you know good filmmaking this movie is not for you but if you're a horror fan and you just want a late movie night with your girlfriend or whoever and it's just a time waster and you want to relive the 80s then this movie is all for you but um, I'm really split on what to give this as a rating uh, I know it's a bad film with cheesy elements however it did keep my attention and I found it you know entertaining but um, all that being said, I think this movie deserves a 6 out of 10. That's my rating. Horror fans, 80s fans, old school sleaze fans of the VHS era from the 1980s, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. However, if you are not one of those individuals, I don't think you'll enjoy this movie so much. So those are my overall thoughts on the movie Motel Hell. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making the video and uh, sharing my thoughts with all of you. Uh, what are your thoughts on the movie? I'm actually interested in what you have to say. And, you know, overall, I would like to know your opinion. And thank you for joining me on this very first uh, Niall Fortner's Boogie Buddha Presents Retro Reviews number one. I had fun doing this retro review. It's something different from us. And, you know, I'm glad I, I'm trying to experiment a little bit. Uh, that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a, an amazing day as always. And remember, don't just get down, but get boogie. Escape from the Bronx. I don't think there's smoothie in here. <laughs>